2016, I did start losing weight and the doctor was like, oh, okay, let's do something. So I went and saw a specialist, uh-huh. had another colonoscopy yeah. and an endoscopy uh-huh. and they diagnosed severe Crohn's. That specialist as well, lovely man, but he said, you know, I can't do anything for you, Leah. Yeah. I'm like, really? Oh my God. Um, so we have a lovely trainer at the gym that I go to and he'd put out this video called Oh, the Big Fat Lie. Oh, yes. Yeah, and High Carb Health, Shakul and Shimas were in that video. And I'm like, who are those guys? Oh, oh my God. God. They're talking about healing Crohn's and they were following this, the book Self-Healing Colitis and Crohn's, which I'd read a couple of years ago. And as scary as it was, I thought, right, I, I think these guys, have, I think they might have the answer. Yeah. So contacted you. Yeah. Uh, Shimmers first, and then and you've been my my counselor, my guide, <laughs> and um and it's been life changing, absolutely one hundred thousand percent Crohn's the diet, got rid of it, changed yeah. it, stopped it, healed <laughs> it, yay, and now I feel a lot calmer and yeah. because I'm not worried where am I going to need to go to the toilet, yeah, uh, what is eating that food going to do to me? Why is that food doing that to me? Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel much more in control and I know it's going to happen more. And I, yeah, it's just a really nice place to be. And then you start yeah. looking on YouTube and you're trying to you see all these other things as well. But um, I found I had to let go of all that and just focus on what you guys were saying and do what the program told us, told me to do and just yeah. do that because it, it's so easy to just get distracted. Yep. And listen to what other people are saying and go, oh, yep. maybe that's a better thing to do. <laughs> just yeah. stay focused and just listen yeah. to what you guys are saying and it will happen. You will get healed. It was easier to digest. There was the pain went away. Uh, the tiredness went away. It just made a significant difference. And it's so much easier and, and um, tastier as well. Yeah. You've got to get your head around it. Like, it's like, oh, my life, I'm never going to be able to eat. Oh, my God. And then you start eating that way, and you just want to eat that way because you feel so much better. And you don't even miss, oh, even now and then you do a little bit. You think, well, that smells nice. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know the repercussions of it. And, you know, you're a human being, and you've eaten oh. those foods all your life, and now you made this transition. But because the difference is so remarkable, you yeah. want to continue to eat that way. Definitely for me wasn't perfect. And but eventually I got more and more healed. Yeah. To now where I think, oh, I'm wow. From February to now. Yeah. It's like day and night. Yeah. It is. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today is testimonial time and I am joined by Leah who is uh, now healed from IBD and living a uh, healthy and normal life. So welcome to the channel, Leah. Hi. Yep. <laughs> so Leah, what we're going to do today is just discuss a little bit about your journey and how it's been for you throughout this whole healing process. So to just start with, um, if you just quickly talk about your experience when you got diagnosed and uh, all the different things you tried before you found out about us at High Carb Health. Uh, so it started about 13, 14 years ago, and I just thought it was stress from having young children and not having a lot of support. You know, I had my husband, but he was working long hours, had a new business, so we were pretty full on. And I thought, oh, and we'd moved to a new uh, place in New Zealand. And, yes, yeah, so I just thought it was all stress, and I was embarrassed because I thought, oh, this is not – Good, and I didn't want to talk to anyone about it. Um, I talked to a friend eventually after about two or three years <laughs> of yeah. going to the toilet constantly and being in a lot of pain and cramping and incredibly tired, sometimes vomiting, taking the kids to school one day and vomiting in the car. I, yeah, horrible wow. experience like that and um, trying different things, but nothing really fixing it. Uh, one of my the friend I did tell, she told another friend and she said, Oh, she sounds like she might be celiac or, or. so she gave me some magazines to have a read about and it, 
I went gluten free and, and uh-huh. that helped a little bit. Yep. I did go to the doctor a couple of times. He couldn't work it out. He just thought I had a virus or I was just had an unsettled tummy yeah. and there was nothing really forthcoming. Uh-huh. So I just kept trying different things and um, went gluten free, like I said, and that helped a lot. Yeah. But it wasn't stopping it. Mm. Uh, and about 2006, I had a short, what they sort of call a short colonoscopy, and um, they said I could possibly have Crohn's, but right. didn't really know what that meant. There wasn't, they didn't say, oh, this is what you need to do. My, yeah. I, it was, they keep saying it's not diet related. Uh-huh. Uh, but my husband and I, we knew it had something to do with gluten because yeah. once I'd stopped it, that helped, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and about 26, I keep getting, I keep going waves through waves, and I never really lost a lot of weight. And so they didn't, nothing, no alarm bells were really going off. But I did was getting all the inflammation and the cramping and the pain and the tiredness. Uh, and then about 26, then I did start losing weight, and the doctor was like, oh, okay, let's do something. So I went and saw a specialist, uh-huh. had another colonoscopy yeah. and an endoscopy. Uh-huh. And they diagnosed severe Crohn's. Right. But they said they can't. They offered Pentaza. Mm-hmm. So I took that. And it's worse. It was like this tsunami of pain and agony and constant, you know, in and out of the toilet constantly. It was like you get those periods where you get the inflammation and it's really bad like uh-huh. that. But this was like on steroids. It was full on. Yeah. And then, um, so I quickly went off that. It wasn't helping at all. Mm-hmm. And a specialist, I went back and saw him, and he said, well, I can't help you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> well, what do I do? And he goes, well, you'll just have to, um, yeah, there are other drugs you can try, or uh-huh. you'll just have to live with it. I'm like, okay, right. right. So then a year after that, uh-huh. I went and got sick again, another inflammation, and went to the doctor again, went to another specialist. Mm. He gave me a six MP. Yeah, I tried that. That was even that was worse yet again. Uh-huh. Didn't help at all. And and luckily, I was only on it for like a short time, not even just over a week. That was all my body could handle. Yeah, that level of drug. Yeah. Uh, so went off that, and then about twenty this year or late last year, twenty eighteen, got yeah. sick again and lost a huge amount of weight, which is yeah. very scary uh-huh. and in and out of the toilet and we went away at Christmas time and my my mum in law, she was really worried about me. She it was really awful because mm. that hadn't that level of weight loss hadn't really happened. And I'm keep going about the weight loss, but within that there was a lot of pain yeah. and tiredness and yeah. in and out of the toilet and you're exhausted and um yeah, so uh, after the pen the 16 MP, that specialist as well, lovely man, but he said, you know, I can't do anything for you, Leah. Yeah. I'm like, really? Oh, my God. Um, so we have a lovely trainer at the gym that I go to, and he'd put out this video called oh, The Big Fat Lie. Oh, yes. Yeah, and High Carb Health, Shakul and Shimmers were in that yeah. video, and I'm like, who are those guys? <laughs> oh, my God. They're talking about healing Crohn's and they were following this, the book self-healing colitis and Crohn's, which I'd read a couple of years ago to try yeah, and work yeah. out what the hell was going on. Yeah. And they had mentioned this book and they were following this, what um, Michael, Dr. Michael Klein had talked about. And it just mm. resonated with me. Yeah. And as scary as it was, I thought, well, I, I think these guys, have, I think they might have the answer. Yeah. So contacted you. Yeah. Uh, Shimmers first and then, and you've been my my counsellor, my guy, <laughs> and um, and it's been life changing, absolutely one hundred thousand percent life changing. Mm. Yeah, I feel you, mate. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it, it was. As we speak, that um, documentary is actually on iTunes now, so you can oh, buy. Cool. Yeah, you can buy it on iTunes, and I'll I'll put the link if anyone's interested in buying that documentary um, down in the description below. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of exciting that we're. We're in this documentary and it's on yeah, iTunes. It's kind of, kind of cool. But um, all right. So, yeah, I mean, obviously you've been through a lot and different types of medications and yeah. doctors telling you they can't help you and you've got to be stuck with this for the rest of your life and things like that. 
Um, what did you kind of learn or what did you find out after you, you know, had a chat with us and you joined the program? Um, what was the main learnings from, from that for you? That diet controlled my Crohn's. Yeah. The diet got rid of it, changed yeah. it, stopped it, healed <laughs> it. Yay. Yeah. And lifestyle too. You can't neglect the yeah. other, other aspects yeah. I, as well. I was talking to someone the other day that um, before the program I was quite um, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> a little bit hyped up. But, and now I feel a lot calmer and yeah. because I'm not worried where am I going to need to go to the toilet, Yeah. Uh, what is eating that food going to do to me, why is that food doing that to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel much more in control and I know it's going to happen more. And, I, yeah, it's just a really nice place to be. Yeah, and what did you learn about a plant-based diet? Because obviously, you know, when you start the program, you get a whole lot of information from us and you weren't eating a plant-based diet necessarily beforehand. Um, so what was, you know, why did you decide to stick to it or, you know, make that change? Yeah, I, there, when I was looking at high-carb health and reading, I read all the tests, testimonials I watched all the videos I was like is, does this work is this going to help me so I needed that extra push to like go ahead with it and then you start yeah. looking on YouTube and you're trying to you see all these other things as well but um I found I had to let go of all that and just focus on what you guys were saying and do what the program told us told me to do and just yeah. do that because it, it's so easy to just get distracted yep. and listen to what other people are saying and go, yeah. oh, maybe that's a better thing to do. <laughs> just yeah. stay focused and just listen yeah. to what you guys are saying and it will happen. You will get healed. You also have to yeah. look at their research. Okay, what does the science tell us? And, yeah. you know, yes, you can listen to people on YouTube and we tell people, don't even listen to us, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, because you have to read the sites like we can point you to the sites you know we've got blogs on our website about that and things like that but um look at the studies look at the evidence look at you know what the plant-based diet does to your gut bacteria what it does what fiber does for your microbiome and you know a plant-based diet is the only diet ever proven to prevent reverse heart disease diabetes and some forms of cancer yeah you know and then it obviously uh, heals and and reverses IBD as well. So you know, yeah. I think what you'll be you'll be testimonial number seventy two or seventy three. So I mean, yeah. I, I keep saying, how many more do we need to? <laughs> how many more do we need to? You know, there'll be up to a hundred soon on the website. So um, yeah. you've got to not complicate it, and it's yeah. really simple. It's yeah. so simple, and yeah. I think we get panicked and confused by that. I think it can't be that easy. Yeah, but it it really is. Exactly. It's just, yeah. Cool. Doesn't have to be hard. But it's hard, but it doesn't it, it isn't, it isn't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I noticed within a few weeks there was a change like the constant diarrhea stopped. Yeah. And even though it was still wasn't a healthy bowel movements to the degree to what it is now, yeah. it definitely you know, from going sometimes all night and all day to four maybe up to ten times as opposed to all the time and uh, it just it was easier to digest there was the pain went away uh, the tiredness went away it just made a significant difference and it's so much easier and, and um, tastier as well yeah. you've got to get your head around it like it's like oh, <laughs> oh my god I'm never going to be able to eat oh my god and then you start eating that way and you just want to eat that way because it, you feel so much better and you don't even miss Oh, even now and then you do a little bit. You think, well, that smells nice. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> the repercussions of it. And, you know, you're a human being and you've eaten those foods all your life and now you made this transition. But because the difference is so remarkable, you yeah. want to continue to eat that way. Mm. Yeah, and I had a very similar experience, which is why I stuck to it as well. Just the difference was night and day, you know, within, within weeks. It was, it was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Right. Um, it is hard. Especially the first start where you are, you know, it's quite monotonous yeah. and missing some flavour yeah. and you think, oh, 
<laughs> You'll be like this forever. <laughs> but um, you soon get over that, and yeah. depending on the severity of your disease, uh, it doesn't take too long for it didn't take too long for me to recover, even though it had been years. So it was, yeah. And, and what was that healing journey like for you? Because uh, obviously, you know, we talk about how your body has to heal and detoxify and sometimes your symptoms increase and things like that. How, how did that yeah. How did that feel for you? Part of it is frustrating because you're like, I want to be better now. Uh, yeah. But uh, you've got to go through that process. And um, and you do think, I mean, I remember saying to you, oh, Chikul, I think I've got cancer. I really do. I know this is not... <laughs> You know, and you're like, well, Leah, even if you do, you're on the best diet possible. Yeah. And it's like, oh, true. Okay, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. I'm not going to die. And I was yeah. in panic sometimes. I thought, oh, God, I better get a colonoscopy again. I better check what's happening. And, yeah. you know, I could be dying. And uh, so there's a lot of mind, your mindset as well. Yeah. And then you sort of calm down and uh, accept that this is what, it is now, and, and it's a good place to be. It's not a bad place to be. It's a much better place to be. Um, yeah. But, yeah, the, the healing is definitely up and down. Yeah. Some moments are great and others are like, mm-mm. <laughs> and then sometimes you go to the toilet it's like, oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, it's so yeah. exciting when it calms down and you, yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, no, nobody's perfect, right? So, I mean, yeah. you didn't have the perfect story in terms of, you did everything exactly how you were supposed to. I mean, there were some indiscretions and things. And, you know, how did you find your experience of that? Because a lot of the times I think that, you know, sometimes when you make mistakes, those are our biggest learnings. So mm. obviously, you know, when you made a mistake and then you got some more symptoms again, how did that feel for you? And, you know, what kind of foods <laughs> kind of triggered that? Yeah, you beat yourself up a little bit and yeah. then think, okay, well, that is what it is. And yeah. um, start again. Just start again, and even if it you're uh, only good for like two or three days, and then you blow it again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't blow it like do it, but for day and day it might be just a meal or a bite or something, or and yeah. then back to you know. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was. Uh, yeah, it's just a process. Yeah. And it doesn't. It definitely for me wasn't perfect, and. But eventually, I got more and more healed yeah. to now where I think, oh, I'm, wow, from February to now, yeah. it's like day and night. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Um, just takes time. you just got to give yourself time. Yeah. That's, that's the hardest thing for most people is, you know, today's yeah. everything happens in an instant society. We want, we want the healing to happen and, you know. Yeah. That's not how it works, unfortunately. Uh, but, all right. So what's your life like now? Awesome. So much better. <laughs> yeah. So much better. Uh, I love mountain biking and I love CrossFit. And yeah. and I used to do those things before and a friend said to me, how did you do those things <laughs> when you were sick? And I said, I, I don't really know. In fact... <laughs> I know now I wasn't doing really well because now I'm doing so much better. Yeah. I was just, yeah. It's taken me a lot, a little bit longer to get my strength back, and but I'm definitely a lot fitter and um, I can use the whole day. Whereas yeah. when I was sick, come like three or four o'clock, I was exhausted and yeah. I, I would need a nap. Yeah. And kids were like, Mum's having a nap. <laughs> you know, I would be in pain and I'd be on my bed curled up with yeah. cramp. Yeah. Feeling like I was, they were like contractions of a baby. I feel like oh, I was wow. that bad. Uh, so I don't have any of that anymore. I just have so much more energy, and I feel, I yeah, it's just a lovely, much better place to be. Yeah, not sick and worried and embarrassed. If, you know, going to the toilet, I think, oh my god, it's not going to be good. Yeah, I don't have that anymore. Yeah, I mean. Basically, you've got a life after Crohn's now. You've got your life back. You can do what you want. You don't have to be burdened by yeah. the sickness or having to know where the next toilet is and all those kind of things, which is, I guess, must be a really a liberating feeling for you. It is. It is. Um, even just 
going to a friend's place or being at work yeah. or yeah. all those sorts of things, you know. You, you, you're not scurrying off to the toilet and <laughs> it's like, it's more like, yeah, I'm off to loot then. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> it's not, yeah, and there's, yeah. So there's the practical side of it as well as the emotional side of it. Yeah. And it's much better. Do you mm. want to touch on that a little bit about the whole emotional side? Because it does play a big, big role. It does. It really does. Um, you don't realise how unhappy you are because you are um, sad because you're unable to live the life that you, you want to live and you, you're uh-huh. like, why is it to me? What have I done? Uh, and you think, I don't really want to live my life like this, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you're blessed in lots of ways. Lots of wonderful things happen in your life, but the – the, oh, I would say depression of not being able to truly live the life you want. Like, I remember camping once, and we were in a campground, thank God, yeah. but having to get up in the night, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's just even the inconvenience of having have to do that, let alone yeah. the pain and the wow. yuckiness of it all. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so it's just, yeah, it's so much Emotionally, I guess I can handle more. Um, I won't put up with any more. I feel more confident. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Mm. Yeah, excellent. All right. We always like to finish these testimonials with some advice. So uh, (laughs) after after everything you've been through and years and years of, I guess, you know, struggling with your digestion. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone who's watching this video? based on your experience? Well, without a doubt, give it a go because, um, I mean, I can only speak for myself and my experience and I've found that it's been life-changing. Yeah. And I really hope whoever's watching this, that they give it a go and that it works for you because I, I think it will. Yeah. Uh, because the diet is so important and having Shakur and Shima's been there and it's just so having that wonderful guidance, because it's quite isolating. I don't yeah, know for myself, sure. I don't like to talk about it. Lots of my friends and family don't know the depth of what you go through. Only my husband really knows yeah. the the lifestyle that Crohn's brings. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. So the isolation is quite hard. Yeah. So having some someone there who knows what's happened and can guide you and really cares about what's going to happen to you, is really really important um and the community the po- the facebook community it's good too you know it's uh quite funny what oh, there's some light-hearted moments as well it's <laughs> yeah, good yeah but there's also some people who really care because um they know what it's like and it's yeah. not easy yeah um so oh, yeah it's i know when i sat down and i said to my husband oh, i really want to do this i don't know if it's good, but I, I i think it might so can I really want to do it so can we give it a go you know you, you do give up a lot but you also gain so much more yeah for sure and um it's totally worth it 100 yeah, percent. yeah yep and i say nothing <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing tastes better than what it does to feel good you know like yeah and healthy have, yeah you can have some taste but it's only pleasure for moments you know yeah whereas when you're healthy and you uh, got your all the functions of your body working as they're supposed to all the time, you know, there's a real <laughs> kind of awareness that comes with that about how it, it feels to feel good. And yeah, it's liberating. Yeah, I think that's the biggest takeaway. I think a lot of people don't really understand until they've tried it and they understand you know they can experience that feeling of your body working the way it's supposed to and yeah. and, and then you forget about you know you're like the taste is secondary to that for, for me anyway I, I think most of my clients agree as well yeah it is it, it, it's all still a little tempting oh yeah you'll always have temptation <laughs> but, yeah but they have, yeah. those moments are far between because you are so focus on other things because you get uh, more freedom to think about other things. Yeah. yeah. You're not locked in this pain and agony and desperation in a way. Mm. Mm. It's very free. Yeah. It's great. 
Well, Leah, thank you so much for joining me here today and uh, sharing your story. It's obviously uh, quite a personal thing to do, but again, you're going to inspire a lot of people with that. So I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. And uh, a big congratulations to you. You know, you put in a lot of hard work and yeah. a lot of guts and determination. No pun intended with the guts. <laughs> God. That's a, that could be a bad dad joke one day. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, congratulations. You've got a life after Crohn's and that's the, that's the oh, most thank important. Thank you.